This is Paul Winters for the digitalfeed.com here at the summer solstice event at the Equine Centre here in Cherry Orchard, Ballyfermas. Uh, I'm with Pat Tien and you're from Dublin City Council Community Dublin. and Social Development section. And what's your involvement with this wonderful solstice experience? Um, I would be very supportive of all the activities that go up here, but we would we would give a little bit of a help in, in planning, although not that much this year. Um, because it's gone so well it nearly plans itself now at this stage but we would help them with funding we would help them with a uh, little bit of planning and then just a bit of the execution on the day so would you have instigated this at the outset would you or? no i wouldn't have um we were looking for we were looking for alternatives to to have some sort of a family fun day in 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 the cherry orchard area and um the equine center came to me and asked me are there any ideas could i help in any way and that's sort of the way it, it, it kind of came about and the partnership we, we we just got everybody involved that we could i'm with uh, independent councillor vincent jackson at um, this great event what do you what do you think of it absolutely this is always a very uh, popular event here in cherry orchard this the represent the summer solstice we, tomorrow is St John's Day the longest day of the year so we can't have it on Saturday but we're having it on Friday and it's just a great way of our shooting in the summer period and give the kids of the area there'll be hundreds of kids here today a good free day out and in the times we're living in everybody needs something free and it's just nice to be able to give something back to the community and also alert people about what's happening here in the community and particularly in the equine centre yeah, I'm with Pat and Sally <laughs> <laughs> from, from Clover Sins. Hill. From Clover Hill. From Clover Hill. Road. Road. Clover Hill Road. Clover yeah. Hill Road. Yeah, where's that now, girls? Tidy Street. Tidy uh, Street. Uh, Lord Cherry Orchard. Yeah, Lord Cherry Orchard. And you're here today for yeah. what now? Are you for uh, the to, Equine Centre. To is support brilliant. the Equine Centre. Right. Very great. My granddaughter comes up here horse riding. Horse ride. She's up here nearly four years now horse riding right. and she loves it. And I think it's great for the kids, and I hope it keeps going for and a long, long time. What does she do of it now? What does she oh, do? she does all the horse riding. She grooms the horse. She cleans the stables, grooms all the horses, puts her coats on them, and she gets on the backs and rides around on them and all. Yeah. And she does all the little jumps and everything like that. And how does. old is she? She's fourteen, and she's up here since she's about ten. Yeah, is it? Ten. About yeah. ten. She's up here since about ten. She has loads of rosettes. Loads of rosettes, Lo won first prizes, third prizes for the competitions they've done in there. So I'm here with Lorraine and... Yagoda. Yagoda. Uh, I couldn't say it, that's why I had to get you <laughs> to say it. But, uh, and you're from? Uh, Thornton's Recycling. And you're sponsoring today's event, is that We right? are, yeah, we sponsored this event and we sponsored it last year as well. Um, and it's a great success. I mean, in a few minutes now this will be buzzing with kids and adults and it, it was a great day yeah it was a great day last year so yeah. hopefully it's it's as good this year and is Thornton's uh, very much into sponsoring the community events they do yeah yeah this yeah. is one event that we've sponsored but we've yeah we've we, we always more. have as much as we can and do you think the equine center is an important addition to the community oh, it's a fun it's a wonderful amenity in the area it doesn't get the recognition it deserves in the wider community because a lot of people just don't know it exists if you're into horses and you're into continuing education people would be aware of it but i think a lot of people out there you know they know it's up there but they never venture past the gates which is unfortunate because i think if they did pass by the gates uh, they would see that it's such a place of learning and it's a place that can push us to the limits and particularly for young people and and all through equine and equine has that very therapeutic uh, sensation for a lot of young people anything yeah. to do with living with it working with animals etc uh, i'm here in one of these lovely uh, polythene monstrosities aren't they very hot aren't they yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Too, hot. It's too hot cold. yeah it's too I'm hot in here. Oh, don't you start it is now, too cold. i'm with uh, this is nico and this is jerry and they do the cherry orchard community garden which is out here in the equine center is that right yeah, yeah. so yeah. tell us a bit about it then how it came about uh it started four years ago uh the front of it was just wasteland just gr grass that no one was using it and uh body frame partnership and local men from around the area that were our work, they decided like to, to do a garden for the community. Set it up four years ago, and it's been going ever since. Right, yeah, so yeah. we just do all veg all vegetables, fruits, right. bit of everything really. And what you do with the vegetables and fruits? Well, we'll have to start starting a little market now on a Thursday, and then 
every, all the community gardeners that come in and spend a bit of time during the week and all, they get to take home fresh vegetables for their families. Yeah. Because we're all fo we're volunteers, so we don't get paid. Like, so that's kind of our payment, the yeah. fresh vegetables when they're ready. Like. Oh, yeah. I know you have me on with the back as well, so... I beg your pardon? I have me on a lot with the back oh, as right. well. Oh, right, that's what I thought so you said. And you actually do. You're the tidy town. Yes, people, we're the tidy towns people. Yes. We're yeah. tidy street. Tidy street. We're, we're clean. Tidy street. We're clean street because we don't have any grass, so we sweep the roads. We're clean street. All ah, right. And paint. Okay. The and paint how, ladies. And do you get a lot of people around you to do that? Do you? We do. We, we, we do. wait on the children. No, we, we wait on the children. Eight hundred children. Yeah. Well, no, we do what I said. I thought you said eight hundred kids. No. When the children are on the holiday, when the school holiday, we get them to help us. help us. But we do it ourselves all the time, and we have another lady. We have a few people that come help helps us. Right, and we're Patrick Driven, and yeah, you train people, don't you, on the horses? We do about train. I wouldn't train. I wouldn't be qualified to train people now. Right. I do about riding myself up here and train the horses sometimes. Okay. And do you own the horse? No, I don't. Don't own any horses. No. So you can't keep your own horses up here. You have to have your own land. These are all bought in and donated horses to the centre for the community. Like, you can't keep your own horse up here. Why is that? Just the insurance. The insurance couldn't cover that. It was originally built for that reason, for the people at Chilly Orchard to keep their own horses, but the insurance wouldn't, uh, wouldn't allow it. Tell me, are you going to do anything, sir? Are you going to get on the ponies? And <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> are you going to do Don't hold us to that now, but oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, I will. Yeah. I will. I'm going to get you. <laughs> yeah, she can't ride. Can you not ride? No, no, no. I'm, I'm sure I learn it. quite quick now. I but think she's um, waiting for burgers. No. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Think, we got some food got last pony, year. The poor thing collapsed. <laughs> It, the back broke on it and everything. It was oh, in God. Terrible, terrible experience. <laughs> What's your role then in the council? I'm a community and social development officer. Right. It's my job to, uh, what's the easiest way to explain it? It's my job to uh, enable people to become involved in community activities in their own area. Right, okay. So That's part of, that's a small bit of it. As a small, yeah, because I remember you doing something like. Uh, I do stuff planes. on funding, yeah. we do stuff on play. I have two colleagues outside at the play area. All right. Uh, with the kids, we, we, get, uh, we get other organisations. We look for the strengths in, in people and in organisations and we match them then to community needs. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. And they can contact you at. 086 815 0113. That's my mobile number, and anybody can contact me. I was hoping you were going to say the Ballyfermot Civic Centre. <laughs> the Ballyfermot Civic Centre is, is the office, but you're better off catching me on the mobile. Right. Because I try to be out as much as I can, because I so think the, the huge part of community development is, is being out, talking to people, interacting with people, and doing projects that can be seen and on the ground so okay. people understand then what community development is. And what's that number again? Let's put it here. 086 815 0113. See it there? Yeah, just see it there. So any other, is there anything you're going to move into? Any plans, any projects? We're setting up um, a delivery, what's right at the minute, we're in the process of setting up a delivery service. All right. Uh, would be a 10 euro a box to deliver to your house. Okay. Free delivery charge. We will be uh, sending the lists out to people, and what would they? We'll have all the vegetables that are ready on it, and they will just tick the box what vegetables they want. They'll give it back to us, and then every week we'll deliver them a fresh box of vegetables for ten euro. I'm with a guy uh, with Joe Curry, um, who's here at the uh, Equine Centre. Is that right? Yeah, we're. Um but we have a gardening program here. It's Innovative Sea Scheme with um, Ballyferma Chapel as a partnership. Oh yes, yeah, and yeah. we have a group of thirteen lads uh, between twenty-one and twenty-six years of age. So we're running the program. It's a full year. It's uh, certified by VTAC Level Four with eight modules, and we have the guys here since last November. So it's a mixture of practical and touring, and they go to the Phoenix Park on every Wednesday and tourist side to do their practical work. What's the future for the Equine Centre? Well, as long as the, the future is, is very bright, what we're doing here now is uh, we have a grading system for, for young people where they start at six years of age and they can progress. They, they start at very basic level of horse riding and then they progress then to, uh, an, when they're 13 or 14, to a, a fairly high level where they're very competent on the horses. So this is something we've introduced this year and it's working very well. And, uh, People do, young people start at six, 
they do 10 weeks just on learning about the horses, doing a bit of stabling and uh, looking after the horses and yeah. they love the progression because they feel they're achieving something as they as they move on. Well, long may it stay, that's all yeah. I say. It's the first time I've been here and I have to say it's, it's an amazing well, complex. Well, uh, it is a great complex, it's, it's a state-of-the-art complex. Yeah. There's very few like it in the in the country and to have one like this in, 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 in Ballyferm, such a, an area like Ballyferm at Cherry Orchard is just, uh, it's just amazing. So we are uh, recognised by uh, the BHS, which is uh, the major uh, horse riding um, association in the UK. We're also registered with Arla here, so we're and we're very highly qualified instructors. So, you know, the the, the centre itself is, as I said, is state of the art, and we just like more and more people to come in here and uh, and use the facility. No bother. All right. Okay. Thanks very much, Michael. You're very okay. good.